Hello, everyone. Good morning. I hope everyone can hear me okay. I'll give a minute for everyone to hop on. I hope you all are doing good. Have your tea, your coffee, water, juice. <clears throat> Hi, Angie. Let me know what you, what you brought. What bevy did you bring to the party? My favorite mug. Angie, can you hear me okay? What's the weather like where you're at? Give me an emoji. Sun, rain, clouds. Hi, Stephanie. What's the weather like where you're at? It's hot, hot, hot here. I live in Lillooet, so we live in a semi-arid, nice sun. Yay, I'm so happy. It makes me so happy, the sunshine. So I live in a semi-arid climate and um, Oh man, I love the hot, hot heat. So this is what it looks like for me. My view. And then that way, the vineyards, if you can see the vineyards over there, and then my studio. And it was 29 degrees yesterday, and it's supposed to be about awesome. Supposed to be about 30 today, so I'll be at the river again this afternoon. Sun, 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 all across the board. Avine, hi. Angie's got her coffee. Sun, sun, sun. Love it. What else are you guys drinking? Cold and wet in the UK. Sending you rays and rays of sunshine, Avine. We have to go through a pretty cold winter. To get here. Kombucha, what flavor? Gosh, I love kombucha. Do you make your own, Ashley? I learned last year, but I'm still a little bit nervous. Even though I have Ukrainian heritage and my grandmother has, has taught me how to preserve, I still am nervous to do it on my own. I'm so excited to just get on here and chat with y'all. Happy Friday, <laughs> totally, can't wait. I work usually Monday through Thursday and I like to relax and chill hard Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I think I'm gonna set up our pool um, tomorrow. I bought a new uh, stand-up pool, so I'm upgrading to the stand-up pool with the tarp on top, <laughs> upgrade. I priced out pools. I can't believe how expensive underground pools are. You can buy a one bedroom apartment for the price of a pool. Anyone else love to swim? Okay, you buy it locally. Yeah, me neither. I don't trust my skills yet. I think I have to take a couple more, a couple more courses. Uh, from a local gal in town also who who makes it and um, sells it at the farmer's market and also teaches. I love hibiscus kombucha so much. I will um, 
I stopped drinking alcohol three years ago this coming June and um, kombucha is is something that like I bring to parties and I still use my wine glasses and my champagne glasses with my kombucha I want to you haven't been swimming since the start of COVID last year. Do you live by the ocean, Aveen? Or any body of water? The cold plunges really helped me this year. I, was, I started jumping in the lake on January 1st. Glacier lake, like freezing, but it resets the nervous system and I found it really helpful for me, especially during these COVID times. Yeah, such a good alcohol replacement. Another, um, I, I'm drinking tea. I love tea, especially in the morning, just to relax my nervous system. Um, I already have a lot of hyperactivity um, in my mind and my body. So like coffee's a treat. It's not always the best thing for me to drink. Um, but I love, this is another local um, woman in... Um, my area, Jillian's uh, Herbs. So you can find her online. And this is the Soul Soother Tea. And it's all like locally foraged ingredients. Um, so it contains certified and non-certified organic, ethically wild-crafted mint, lemon, catnip, monarda, St. John's wort, ash, Waganda, uh, vervain, skullcap, chamomile, lemon balm, Johnny Jump Up, rose, lavender. One of my faves. Soul Soother. Okay, so Avine, oh, you're totally inland. Okay. Mm. I hope you get to the uh, a body of water soon. Where do you live, Stephanie? Where's your cottage? Okay, I'll wait for Stephanie's reply. Anybody using any essential oils? First thing in the morning. So what did I put in my diffuser? A uh, wild orange, because I love the limonene that you get from the citrus oils. It um, energizes me, it, it wakes me up, it um, helps stimulate my, my creativity. And then I'm gonna put some peppermint on right now. I like to roll peppermint like right behind my ear there on both sides. So, so good to relax the nervous system. So good for the vagus nerve. I love it on my forehead. And remember peppermint's a spicy essential oil, so you never want it in your eyes, your nose, your ears, your mouth. Okay, and this is highly diluted with coconut oil. A little bit on my forehead and it's So high in menthol, so amazing. I love peppermint. So Evine's going to Ireland to visit family at the end of the month. Oh, you guys are so lucky you're free to travel. Um, I'm in Canada, I'm in British Columbia and we're actually locked down in like our districts right now. No bueno. But I know that the whole world is suffering so Let's just close our eyes and place our hands on our hearts and let's start sending loving kindness to ourselves. So meta meditation here. So hands on heart. You can repeat a simple mantra, a group of loving kind words, those well wishes directed to yourself first. So may I be free from fear and suffering. And you repeat that up in your mind a few times over and over again. And maybe if you're in a safe space, uh, maybe you say it out loud. May I be free from fear and suffering. And 
And bring your hands together, your heart, and then can you send those well wishes all over the world? May all beings be free of fear and suffering. Breathe down into your belly and send those well wishes, those words of loving kindness straight from your heart all over the world. May all beings be free of fear and suffering. Bow your forehead to your fingertips. Do you all hear the crickets in the background? So the crickets are back. Love this time of year. So Andrea, I use my own blend of bergamot and lime and it's very refreshing. Yes, bergamot. Also, I think high in limonene as well as lime. Love that combo. I haven't had bergamot in a long time. I'm gonna have to add that to my list. I'm also wondering what y'all are reading right now. What's everyone reading? Share with me what's lighting up your mind. Or you can be listening on something like Audible. I love to read a little bit. I love to listen on Audible. A friend um, passed this one on to me. It didn't start with you. So how inherited family trauma shapes who we are and how to end the cycle. Anybody read this? Oh my gosh, it's blowing my mind. Epigenetics, wow. So I'm doing a lot of family systems um, therapy right now and a lot of trauma therapy. Um, perfect time during COVID. <laughs> Not a lot else to do. Um, and right now we're doing a, a big family tree. So with my therapist, I'm doing a big family tree, a genogram and whew, interesting stuff. Anybody else do has done or are doing any um, family systems therapy. Yeah, it's really good, Stephanie. Danny, you've read it. Amazing, life-changing. I think it will be another book um, that I reread every single year. I hope that I can pass it down to my family. I hope that they're, they're open to receiving it. What was your biggest takeaway from this book, Danny? So Avin got a new book today. It's called True Yoga by Jenny Lee. Okay, so Living the Sutras. That's nice. It's nice when the sutras um, can be translated. There's so many translations out there. But when you get an author that you truly connect with, it can, it can be really incredible. Have you started it yet, Avin? My biggest takeaway from this book so far is um, just the affirmation about how important it is for us to meditate and to visualize and how when we spend time in those practices, even if those like happy, joyful things aren't really happening in our lives, like we can visualize them and our body releases those happy hormones like dopamine and serotonin. And so just like that confirmation from science um, that our brains are malleable and changeable is just so incredibly powerful in my heart. And um, so that's been my biggest takeaway so far. Danny says um, that her biggest takeaway from this book was that you can end the cycle once you know what you're working with. And that's what I started to do totally. Totally. So much freedom is in that, isn't it? And sometimes like that generational trauma isn't even our trauma, um, but it impacts us through our genes. And so once we know, yeah, we can... Um, set that person free or, or um, you know, that person who, who's passed on maybe already and, um, or that person that, you know, has, has been challenging in our lives and then 
we're set free. Very, very cool. I love talking about this stuff with y'all. Okay. I want to know, because I want to get up and dance with y'all now. What's your favorite song to dance to right now? So I've been dancing with my clients for probably the last six weeks. Um, and it's been so funny to see the resistance. Um, because I have my, my clients sit down. I'm only allowed to do privates uh, because of COVID. And I ask them the same question I'm asking you. What's your favorite song to dance to? And... 90% of the time, um, I get this like straight face, like this like ang instant angst. Oh my gosh, I haven't danced in 30 years. And so I, I, I for those people who um, haven't danced in so long, I give them a few options. Um, and it's been really cool to start the physical practice dancing. So what's your favorite favorite song to dance to? Let's dance together. Just one song. Move our bodies. And when we move our bodies, we support our bodies in releasing the tension and the stress. Am I going to have to pick my favorite song? Okay, Stephanie is the winner, hypnotized by Purple Disco Machine. Yes, I love dancing in the kitchen. I, this has been so cool. Every single morning before school, um, I've been putting on music also with my daughter and so much fun, such great memories made at, at those wee hours in the morning. It's my, my kid's an early riser. Okay, I'm gonna find that song, Stephanie, so everybody, Take a sip of your tea or your water or your coffee. Put on your dancing shoes. Oh, Avine, you're gonna miss the dance party. Okay, well you can dance later because this will be saved, okay? All right, I'm gonna search that song for us and then we're gonna get up. So everybody get ready. Hey, Stephanie, should I do the club dub mix or just the, just the regular old one? Oh, there's so many. Oh my gosh, I think this might be a new song. Danny, for me, I wanted to end the cycle to be able to give my children freedom from it. Totally. If I can work on myself and develop. Yeah, 100%. <sighs> I feel so blessed to... Um, to be at this point in my life and to be able to do this work also. <laughs> you don't know what, okay. Let me just put on this, this song dedicated to Stephanie. Three minutes, y'all. Stand up.
Invite in more fun and play into your practice. Your daily sadhana. Let's go. Oh my gosh, so good. Thank you, Stephanie. I'm like out of breath. So fun to be weird with you guys. And I encourage you all weekend long to invite in more fun and more play into your daily sadhana, whether it's on or off of your mat. I sure do miss live concerts and um, outdoor festivals, oh my goodness. But this felt really good um, dancing with, with you all this morning. So thanks for hopping on. Let's catch our breath, take a sip of water, tea, coffee, kombucha. Sit up nice and tall. Hands in your lap or on your thighs. Your eyes can be open or closed, whatever feels good and natural and soothing. We're here to self-soothe. We're here to regulate our nervous system. Self-regulate the emotions. Hold safe space for the body to do its thing and flush out tension and stress. You do not need to force your eyes to stay closed. Try your best to breathe in and out through your nose, toning the nasal passages, but again, if that causes any stress, just breathe through your mouth, that's okay. And we start with just catching the breath and just noticing the breath and paying attention to the breath. Maybe bringing the breath a little bit deeper down into the belly, feeling the expansion and the contraction of the breath. Now I want you to practice a little bit of pelvic floor toning and abdominal toning, and this can help with focus and concentration of the mind, as well as strengthening these really deep tissues and muscles in the body. So when we inhale, we'll relax, we'll expand, we'll balloon out. And when you exhale, start with the pull in of the pelvic floor, 
and then the squeeze in of the low belly, and then the squeezing in of the rib cage. You can hold that exhale breath for as long as you want, as long as it feels good. And then inhale and expand when you're ready. Exhale breath starts with the squeezing up of the pelvic floor, and then the squeezing in of the belly, and then the squeezing in of the rib cage. And you can hold that breath for as long as feels good, only if it feels more than awesome. And when you're ready, inhale, and there's an expansion. Can we do that three more times? And then let go and come back to your natural breath, your unique rhythm. Connected to your diaphragm, that breathing muscle. And bring all your focus now down into your hands and feel your hands and notice what you, what you feel here in your hands. What kind of energy do you feel in your hands? Focus on your hands. Let go of that focus, come back to your breath, easygoing, relaxed breath. Relax your throat and the sides of your neck. And if it's safe for you to twist to the right, twist to the right. And twist just a tiny bit or a lot. You gauge what's appropriate for you. And if it's appropriate, you could twist to the left. Come all the way back through center, bring your hands together at your heart. Send those well wishes out into the world once again. Cover the whole world with your well wishes. May all sentient beings be free from fear and suffering. The divine in me bows to the divine in you. It's such an honor to spend this 30 minutes with you all. That was a lot of fun and I look forward to doing it soon. I hope you all have a fabulous weekend. Please never hesitate if you have any questions or concerns. Um, you can just message or type in the comments below and we'll see you all later.